I want to talk to you about um, reasons why you need to get out. If you have found this channel, um, then you are researching to see if you're with a narcissist or you have realized that you are with a narcissist and you are trying to wrap your head around just how bad this is and if this is something that you can work out or um, something they can get treatment for, if you should stay in, um, all of these kinds of things, okay? And I, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you when I say this. You don't just need to get out. Baby, you need to run. You need to run if you have to run out the house barefoot and just take off running with no no nothing. If you have to leave everything you have, if you have found out that you are with a narcissist, you need to go. And I'm I'm going to explain to you why. For those of you who do not have children with a narcissist, you're in a good position. A very good position and hopefully you have not tied any of your financial things um, up with them um, you know uh, you haven't purchased a vehicle with them or your name is not on a lease with them or something like that if it is then you know do your research to figure out how you can get out of it how you can get your name off of things or have them refinance the vehicle and you're going to have to be like they are you cannot come out and tell them that you need to do this because you're going to leave do not by any means let on to them that you are planning to leave okay because they will flip it up real quick on you and um they'll 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 leave you destitute and they'll they will make things very hard for you and they will sabotage everything you try to do so you're going to have to keep this on the low all right uh, but what i want you to do is start free, figuring those things out and piecing that together okay and i'll get to the people who have kids with them in a minute but but for you all who have something tied together with them you know if you have three months left on a lease or whatever and you can tough it out um you know for three months you know do what you have to do so your credit doesn't get bad okay but for those of you who have nothing tied with them you have no no financial obligations no business no kids no nothing you found out that you're with a narcissist get out and um don't don't tell them you're leaving don't look for closure don't try to fix them don't ask for therapy don't you don't have to tell them why you're leaving you don't owe them anything if you are watching these videos it's because you've been treated badly and you're being abused and now you have put a title to what type of abuse it is they're gaslighting you they're lying to you they're manipulating they're cheating um, they're trying to triangulate you with other people and they're um, devaluing you and putting you down and making you feel small they so that they can feel big don't give an explanation for why you're going you are the ones that can run out right now barefooted and i mean that in every literal sense you know if if you have time get your stuff but if you don't i mean i i would lose everything to get rid of them because if you don't they're gonna take everything anyway so um get your stuff and go but i'm just saying that the severity of it is that if you gotta leave barefoot to get away from them and leave everything behind do what you have to do okay now um if you happen to have children with a narcissist and um they are covert meaning you're with somebody and you did not know that they were a narcissist and you are you're seeing some signs of things your your position has to be much more calculated and um I want you to know that they will stoop at no, let me, let me, because I, I can't find a good word to tell you just how vile they are. They will stoop at nothing to try to take everything from you, including your children. 
if you if you do not know this and how you know they will take your children the home the vehicles they will freeze accounts they will do everything they can to sabotage you and you will not be able to just leave you will need a plan and that plan will need to consist of you know how are you going to take care of yourself financially because if you're leaving them and you have to get a divorce you know that's going to be a process and they're not going to follow any of the orders. So for those of you who thought, well, I'll just, I'll file for divorce and, you know, they're going to have to give me spousal support because I already have proof that they were cheating on me and they were doing this and that. Oh, no, baby. No, 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 no. Do not count on anything in the temporary orders going through because see the, the, this is going to be a process. And because they are so manipulative, they will find other manipulative people to help them manipulate the system so you are going to need a plan and it is going to take you some more time try to act normal try to act as normal as you can but do have a plan and the reason why you need to get out is because of all the stuff that i just said because they are going to try to take your children from you and i, I have heard it on one spectrum or the other they're either going to try to take them from you and will take them from you they will come up with lies they will do whatever they need to do or they'll have nothing to do with them either way that is traumatic for both you and your children either way there's going to be trauma involved in this but isn't it already traumatic um but when you're when you're out of the picture or deciding to leave them this is going to become much more traumatic for you much more traumatic than you are probably expecting and for those of you that are married to them and have children with them and finances tied to them you need to start making a plan and not just making a plan you need to start getting things from your home um important paperwork um you need to find a friend that has a closet or a garage or a uh, or you need to get a storage unit you need to find some place to start putting your things and you need to start this is going to sound very manipulative but this is the only way that you are going to be able to save yourself and have some things that are valuable to you and you can't let them uh you know you can't let them pick up on the fact that you're going okay so you're going to need to start things that are important to you okay um keepsakes um important documents and those things you need to start slowly getting them out so you're so you've written down a plan that you need to hide somewhere and don't think that they're not in your stuff online so this is not probably something you need to be uh, emailing <laughs> to yourself you know a note to yourself of what your plan is or doing in your phone because I know with all personal experience they will be in your things online and you won't even know it, okay? So they're always monitoring you even though you don't think that they are. And when you're gone, they will still be monitoring you. So uh, keep a close eye on how you can do this without being seen. So, so maybe in my case, I had a collection of heels, okay? And I was discarded. So... Uh, I was not able to get my my heels and I never got them the divorce is final and I still never have got them but anything that you love and and I call it a collection because that's something that I loved and I had several of them don't expect to get it back it, it, you'll have to have a trade to get any of those things back so this is going to mess with your your confidence your self-esteem your memory your it's going to throw you off balance and these are the reasons why you need to get out they're going to try to take everything from you everything you love so think about everything that it is that you love that you want to protect and then when you get your plan together think about how to protect everything that it is that you love safely so if you need to get um you know 
a special collection of things out of your home, okay? Just, you know, maybe you need to say, hey, you know what? I've had these things for a long time and, um, you know, I think I'm changing my style up. I think I'm going to, you know, just give this stuff to Goodwill. Get it to a storage unit. Get it to a friend's home or whatever. Say you're spring cleaning. This sounds very... um because you're lying, okay? And it's but it's what they've been doing to you, but this is the only way that you're going to be able to save yourself because if they pick up on that you're leaving them, they're going to get a plan and because they are mischievous and because they are malicious and because they are deceitful and because they are like shit on the bottom of your shoe, they are going to they they are always coming up with um I, what I call calculated mischief. So they are going to be better at this than you. So even though what you're doing is trying to protect yourself, they're going to come at you very hard in a way that is going to, um, is going to beat you down and sabotage your plan. So do not let them know. And, um, I hope you can tell from this video that just how fierce they will come for you because some of you probably didn't know, um, or haven't heard that they will take your children and leave you destitute, but they absolutely will. I don't care what you think you have put into this marriage and what you have given to them. If you're a stay at home mom and so you've sacrificed a career for them, I don't care what you sacrificed for them. I don't care if you took care of them while they were sick. I don't care if you had C sections to have those kids and you've given everything. You've nursed your babies. You've, you've taken care of them. You've done everything. You've kept the house. You've been, you're on. On a scale of 1 to 10, you're a 9 or a 10 as a wife or a mother. I don't care what you put in. They are going to come for you and they are going to try to break you. Okay? I want for you to know just how malicious they are so that you are not you're not caught off guard if you've even had the opportunity to figure out what you're dealing with because in my in my experience, I really did not know what I was dealing with until the divorce was final. I only had paid attention to what things were happening to me. And so I was able to to fix some of it, but I really did not know and have the research until the divorce was final. So, but I did win. So I want you to know that you are, you are dealing with someone who knows how to win. And that's why I'm here to help you so that you can defeat them. Okay. I'm going to end this one here. And if you like this video, if this has been informative for you, I want you to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Um, peace, love, and blessings. Mwah. See you next time.